I'm Gabriel Tajima Pena. I went to Heart Mountain, Wyoming. I went with my grandparents, Kelvin and Marie Tajima, my uncle, Bill Ujie. Both my parents, Armando Pena and Renee Tajima. My grandmother was about 13 and my uncle Bill was 12 when they first got to the camps. By the time they got out, they were both 16 and 17. See, there's the uh, interpreters sent right there to the left. When I got to Wyoming, the first thing I saw was desert. It was desolate desert. This is called a pilgrimage banquet, a pilgrimage reunion. How many of you know an internee here? Raise your hands. <laughs> the program was interesting, but after a while, there were a lot of speakers, and I, I can't really sit still for that long. Most privileged. Yeah, I did, number one. Let's see. Here, um, try pressing it again. And while I was there, I remember a lot of my friends had told me about a platform building game called Minecraft. I just had this ingenious plan to create the camp itself within the video game. My mother had refused to buy me the game. And she's against video games as a whole. And then when I came up with this idea, she got extremely excited and immediately bought me the game. You can build anything from a block of stone to the White House. It really took just a couple of days before I actually began building the camp because I couldn't help myself. I just kept blowing things up for several days. The barrack is ready for its close-up. I, uh... I needed a lot of help knowing what the camp itself looked like. They took me around part of the camp and showed me where the site of the swimming hole, the barracks used to be. When I first told my grandmother about this project, she was very excited, although she did not know what Minecraft was. She wanted to help as much as she could. Look, I found a... My grandmother told me what camp life was like, gave me notes on the inside of the barracks, and my Uncle Bill had helped me with telling me what the latrines looked like. I had met this guy named Randall Fujimoto. He liked, um, combining video games with learning history. So I showed him my project and he decided to do a workshop for kids to teach them about the, the Manzanar camp by building it in Minecraft. He had invited me to help co-teach his class for several weeks. We had about 15 kids on computers in Gardena at the Japanese Cultural Institute, the JCI. The primary amount of their research was done online through websites and through the Manzanar history website itself. But we also did have a former internee come in and he answered uh, a, lot, a lot of questions. Hey everybody, eyes up here and um, Hi, everyone. this is Bob Nakamura. Uh, you know that he lived in Manzanar before. The kids were really interested in asking about what the latrines were like. Uh, were the bathrooms like small? The bathrooms didn't even have partitions, right? So you can hold hands with the person sitting next to you. <laughs> so that was that was the big that was the big change for a lot of people. We had a big day coming up. Nobody had really completed their projects. We needed to present it to their parents and people who came from outside. They just rallied up and finished. Okay, so let's uh, proceed with our presentations. Uh, go ahead, one by one, go ahead and introduce yourselves. Um, I'm Evan. I'm Maurice. I'm Andrew. I'm Joshua. Okay. Each of the barracks had three rooms inside, and there were like four beds in each room. 
These are the mess halls. They usually ate soup a lot, and breakfast was usually bread and meat. The bathrooms. Uh, they didn't have any partitions um, that you could hold hands while going. Uh, the watchtower. Um, anybody who went too close to the gate would be shot, but once somebody did and the riot started, they stopped doing that. And yeah. I think they learned a lot about the camps, the structure of the camp, and how, why and how it was built. And I think they did learn a lot about the history of Japanese Americans during World War II. It was really cool to see my grandmother happy like that, and it's warmed my heart to see her so into the project. Quite frankly, I don't know.